Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel! Welcome back to another Landmiss video. Today we are sitting casually in a closet room and I wanted to bring you along for a little haul. I have been shopping, I did some Black Friday shopping, and even though it's it's long gone since the Black Friday days, I did want to show you the, some of the things that I picked up because they finally arrived and shipping is slow and I feel like there's some really great things, some very exciting new jeans updates which I teased in my Toronto vlog and just, yeah, just gonna do a good old classic haul which is mainly clothing, all clothing, it's clothing. Uh, we're doing a clothing haul today, great. I also wanted to mention that I, I, I'm feeling weird about my makeup today. Um, first of all, I've got a really big like the, the bald patch on my cheek is very, very visible today. And I also tried to do a little bit of a, of a half bake. I tried to continue baking on my face and I just feel really like, it's not working for me. I don't know, I, I just wanna keep playing because I just keep seeing these TikTok videos of people baking and I know, I know that it's a filter. I know that it's the phone but I can't help it. I'm like, these people, their skin looks so flawless. Why doesn't it look the same on me? And that's the problem with the internet and with filters because it just tricks you into thinking that you're crazy looking when really, anyway, I've also made a tea. So I actually just wanna go ahead and dive right into the main event. Now, this is another TikTok find. It was also inspired by Dan. Two things happened. On TikTok, people were raving about the Abercrombie & Fitch jeans, okay? The Curve Love jeans, to be specific. And I remember seeing a bunch of TikToks and I was like, oh my God, I need to buy these jeans immediately. I need to try them out and see how they fit my large legged, no hip body. <laughs> and at the time when I had tried to purchase them, they were all sold out. They were sold out. I don't know who it was, but they had gone viral on TikTok and they were they were all gone. So during the like Cyber Week, Black Friday sales, Dan was like, hey babe, I'm gonna buy a couple sweaters on Abercrombie. Is there anything you want on the website? And I was like, oh, uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I thought about it, but I'm gonna, I wanna try these Curve Love jeans. And lo and behold, there were a few of the colors in stock. And I was like, I don't wanna get my hopes up, but I do wanna try and see if the, the TikTok rave has been true. So I ordered three, three of the different types, three of the different styles of the Curve Love jeans. The shipping was very slow. I don't know if that's normal or if it's just these flooded times in British Columbia, but the shipping was, was very slow, but they do have free shipping and also free returns in Canada. They have a whole, they've got the Canadian situation figured out, which is nice. And there wasn't like a significant sale on them. I believe they were like 10 or $20 off, but still that's good. It, they were on sale. So I saved a couple dollars on the jeans and they came in. And if you watch the Toronto vlog, you'll know that I have been loving them. I haven't taken them off my body since they came in and I'm so excited to tell you guys about it because if you've been a viewer of my channel, you'll know that the, the jeans debacle has gone on for a very long time. I have constantly whined about not being able to find my jeans. Every time I do find a pair of jeans, I'm like, ooh, these are the perfect jeans. No, these are the perfect jeans. No, those are the perfect jeans. And I just have to say that this, this Abercrombie and Fitch era, which I, I didn't think I'd be saying that because Abercrombie and Fitch was like the go-to when I was in like grade eight or nine. <laughs> I didn't think that in my adult life that I would be jumping back onto the Abercrombie and Fitch bandwagon, but here we are. Uh, I just want to update you and say that TikTok was correct and I think, I think that once I'm done with this haul, I'm going to be selling and or getting rid of a huge chunk of jeans in my life because you, you heard it here first <laughs> yet again. And for real this time, I have found the perfect pair of jeans. So I'm going to, I'm going to put them on for you. I'm going to show you the three pairs that I have and let you know why they're perfect. So first of all, if you are like me and you love the, the look and style of like the classic Levi's, you know, I feel like everyone on Instagram is all like, oh my God, these are my vintage 501s. These are my Levi's. And they're just like the perfect wash. They're the perfect, nice fit. They're always that really nice, like straight leg, high waisted, these people with very, very skinny little legs. And it just looks so good. And I'm like, yes, I want some classic Levi's. They'll never fit me ever. I have tried buying vintage in the past that are already like kind of stretched out, maybe a little bit more and tried getting them tailored. That was a whole tragedy. The tailor ruined those jeans forever. Anyway, basically I've always been, been after that look, that classic Levi's look and I can't fit the Levi's. It doesn't, it doesn't work. They've come out with some new styles here and there, but it just never looks the same. It never looks the same and it never 
fits like the way I see it in photos it never fits my body the way I want it to by the visual that I get on Instagram you know so my my problem with jeans basically is that I I am straight I am a straight gal I don't really have curves but ironically these like curve love jeans from Abercrombie fit because I've got really thick like more muscular legs I've got a thick butt and then I have no <laughs> No hips, no hips for that. So most of the time when you have these like straight legged, more slim fitting jeans, um, any jeans that fit over my thicker thighs, I always have like a gap on the waistband for jeans. So that's always my problem. And that just seems to be common across the board. Like I've tried so many pairs of jeans and even if right away they fit, they always end up loosening up over time. So like my A Goldie jeans, for example, I do love so many of my A Goldie jeans but over time they are all baggy on my waist and I end up having to wear a belt or just kind of ignore the fact that I have a big gaping waistband. Enter the Abercrombie and Fitch Curve Love Jeans. And this sounds like, this sounds like an ad. This sounds like an ad, it's not an ad. Abercrombie and Fitch, I would like to be one of your Curve Love Jeans spokespeople. Uh, please, I am here and ready and willing. <laughs> So when you go onto their website, they have like a curve love section in the women's jeans, okay? And you scroll down the page and there's just endless options. There's every style, there's every fit. They have a million different colorways. There's just so many options. And so normally, even if you find one pair of jeans that might fit your odd little body shape, you got like two color choices or it's that one style. No, 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 madame, the curve love has all of them and they all fit the same. The, the sizing is consistent across the styles. I'm gonna show you the three different styles I bought here today. So I'm just thrilled, I'm thrilled. I bought three pairs and let me just tell you, I made another order and I may or may not have bought um, all of them, all of them because I am that obsessed. Okay, so let me show you the Curve Love jeans that I bought. So firstly, I had these a week before we went to Toronto and then in Toronto, I wore them. I wore them for the entirety of the duration of our Toronto trip and then I am wearing them still. So usually like they might get a little bit loose with wear, but here they are after almost two full weeks of constant wear. So this is the Curve Love jean in the dad version. This is the dad jean and they are the high waist version and first of all, let's take in the color. This is like that classic, beautiful blue jean shade. I wore the wrong shirt for showing this. I should just be wearing a bralette or something. <laughs> and even because I have no hips, there's actually still like quite a lot of room, still a lot of fabric here, and they are still tight and cinched on the waist. Look at this, no waistband gap in sight. Are you witnessing what I'm throwing down? So here's the fit on the butt, okay, okay. Can we talk about the stretch, the bend, the absolute pure comfort that are these jeans. I, I've just never experienced anything like this in jeans. I could go on truly, truly forever. Let me show you a full mirror visual. So look at look at the jeans. We've got room, we've got room to play, we've got room to, to eat in these jeans, okay? And they do that kind of like little cute Levi's vintage little V with the jeans. You know, I always see this on Instagram and people are like, oh, my Levi's, oh, my vintage perfect jeans. And I'm like, I've never had this fit of jeans on me and my my more thick legs and I'm thrilled. So they go they go straight down. It's a nice like I said this is the this is the dad fit. So I do think the intention is to be like a more loose casual fit. And the color, honestly, the the wash of these is so nice. So I'm going to show you the other two. Okay, so these ones here are the Curve Love 90 Straight Ultra High Rise. This one's really nice like snug high rise and we've also got a lovely little boot cut action. Keep in mind, I haven't been wearing these ones. These are still new. I have the tags on them. So they aren't as loose and just in general, the, the style isn't as loose as the dad jeans, but just note that there's no waistband flap here. They're perfectly snug around my waist. And then there's just room on the thigh and the butt. There's no like, do you ever get like the big wave on the seam because the jeans are being pulled so tightly. <laughs> like there's none of that here. They just fit. They just go nicely straight down. And yeah, I kind of like the little rips in them. These will get like more distressed over time and they'll kind of have the feel as like the ripped a goldie jeans that I wear all the time. But yeah, just couldn't believe the, the fit. And again, the stretch, the like ultimate comfort in these. 
Ugh. Okay, so LOL, my bad. My, my third pair isn't actually even the, the curve love, but they feel the same and they're just as stretchy. This is the Ankle Straight Ultra High Rise. They are a little bit more snug for sure, but it's this lighter wash. They're the ankle, ankle cut jean, which is nice for wearing big boots, honestly, as well. Like these are perfect for my totem boots that are a little bit higher up. And even though they aren't curved love, they're still nice and nice and snug on the waist. So stretchy in the bum. I can just like bend and live my life in these and I've just never experienced a feeling like this. So those are my new Abercrombie and Finch jeans. <laughs> I bought a black pair, I bought a white pair because they have absolutely everything. And then my favorite ones are the dad jeans and they had a ton of washes in the dad jeans. So I got this in the lighter wash, which I'm so excited about because I just feel like again, it'll be that perfect like classic Levi's vintage vibe. And yeah, when I get them in, I will definitely show you guys. I'll update you in another vlog. I got this one in the regular length in a size 27, which is very true to size for me. Like sometimes, like some of the A Goldie ones, the more loose fits, I'm a size 26. And then in like Levi's 501s, I'm like a size 30. <laughs> and that's just to get them over my leg. So 27 is very much my, my true size and fit, they fit very true to size. So I got 27s and the regular lengths in all of these. If you guys also were convinced by the TikTok viral videos of these jeans and you also bought the Curve Love jeans, would love to hear your thoughts because I am obsessed and these are the new in jeans and they will officially be replacing many of the jeans in my life. I wanted to mention a sports bra update. Now I have actually had two of these for a very long time. I don't know if I've ever shown them on YouTube, but if you follow my stories religiously on Instagram, you will definitely recognize the set active sports bra that I have. I have two colors. I had this like really, really lighter kind of gray blue shade and then this like really nice light creamy beige shade and the set active sports bras, I don't know why. I haven't raved about them more before um, and now that I'm looking at it, I don't actually remember what this particular sports bra is called, but I will put it in the description box. Anyway, I saw that they came out with like a chocolate brown color and wanted to buy it instantly, wanted to buy it instantly. So I got the brown, it's probably looking black in the camera, but this beautiful little chocolate brown sports bra from Set Active. I love that it's ribbed, it's the ribbed material. And I like the ribbed because I feel like you just get more breathing room. I find them in comparison to like other sports bra materials that can be like quite tight. I find the ribbed material to just be a little bit more comfortable. I don't know, I, I really am on a ribbed, workout clothing train right now and yeah i love the fit of the sports bra i love the shape of it i'm not gonna put this on right now okay but just know that you will be seeing these i i got the chocolate brown and i also got the black so i now have four of these ribbed little sports bras and they're fabulous they're fabulous and they wash really well they don't get any pilling on them which is very impressive and i i had also bought the matching shorts but the matching shorts are way too short on me. They did not understand the assignment of anti-chafing shorts and they just make that like bulge on my thighs bulge out. They're just not quite long enough. So I didn't like the matching shorts, which was too bad. That would have been a very cute little set, but the sports bras, fab, fab. So the next purchase I bought was actually inspired by Leave Judd and to Leave, I am so sorry, her, her Instagram handle is Liv Judd. Like I've been calling her Liv because that was an assumption that I made and I was recently told that the pronunciation is actually Leave, Leave Judd. Oh my God, or is it Leave Jude? Oh dear. <laughs> anyway, I've met her previously in Toronto. She is absolutely beautiful and she is just like popping off on TikTok. Her Instagrams are beautiful. She does reels of getting ready every day and she just always has the most fabulous outfit Outfits. She is the definition of a chic woman and the one day she posted in this sweater <laughs> This vest this sweater vest my jaw like dropped to the floor over this sweater vest It just looked like everything that I had been dreaming of and more and of course of course, because it was so stunning, it means that it was something that was very, very expensive. This was a pricey spendy purchase, but it was this beautiful oh, Smythe sweater vest. Now Smythe is a local Canadian brand and they make many a fabulous, fabulous items. And I picked up this vest. It still has the tags on it because I'm undecided. I haven't actually tried it layered over a shirt yet. I've been waiting to film this little haul, but look at the detail on this vest. It's got this like braiding on the, the hem, the hem, the hem of the neck and the hem on the bottom. And then it's just like regular, regular little armholes here, but it's like so thick. I wish you could 
feel this through the camera. It's such a beautiful piece. I'm gonna be devastated if this doesn't work, but also maybe relieved because it was so expensive. But we're gonna we're gonna try it on. I actually put this white shirt on intentionally to layer this over top because that's most likely how I, how I would wear it. And I need you guys to tell me if I'm gonna be keeping this or if I'm gonna be returning it. So let's try it on. Why? This was not a day to do a pony. Ooh. <laughs> it's perfect. This shirt is not long enough though. <laughs> So let's just ignore that for a sec. Here is the, the neck detailing. I just find that like such a fun touch that they included this like beautiful little braiding here. I think it just adds such a nice, nice little texture there. You know, like, ooh, I'm fancy. Look at my braided neck. And here's the sweater vest. So definitely love the shirt layered under it. I think that's a very nice look for it. However, this particular one is not my Arquette white shirt. I should have put on my Arquette one. The Arquette one is much longer and it definitely looks <laughs> just like, oh, cute up here though. <laughs> it definitely needs a longer shirt underneath, but we can get the, the general vibe with the vest. Oh, she is beautiful. She is beautiful. Like even just like this, like, oh, look at my little, my little sweater vest. Oh, cute. Am I keeping her or am I returning her? Please let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the vest. I think she's perfect. So the next purchase that I have is actually behind me, this beautiful coat hanging here on the hanger. <laughs> and I'm actually sad to mention this because it is something that is officially not available, but in my previous haul, I had also talked about the Naked Fashion X Josephine HJ collaboration and how I got the fabulous, giant, beautiful, big wool coat, and I love it so much and I had missed the drop email. I never received the email when everything dropped and this green coat as well as the matching green full leather pants had been on my like to purchase list from them and, and I missed them. They had gone out of stock so I only ended up getting the wool coat but it was like days later, Josephine had posted on her stories like, oh, restocking some of the items and it was one of those like serendipitous moments where I had opened the Instagram app and it was like posted three minutes ago. I had just caught those stories. I, I <laughs> sprinted with my little fingers to the website and the other pieces that I had had on my radar and in my wish list weren't in stock but the coat did come back in stock. So you best believe that I snapped it up. Dan came in here and he was like, wow, that is a gorgeous green. And I was like, right? Got her in a size 36 and it is this beautiful faux leather number. I guess I could take these little things off, huh? Ooh, the buttons are so pretty. I look like Count Dracula right now with my collar sitting like this, but. It's a look. So here's the coat in all of her glory. I just, I really, really think that they did such a phenomenal job with the Josephine collection. And I am rather devastated that it is not a permanent collection. And you know, I just, I love this coat so much. And I think the color is fabulous and I love the fit. I did size down, I size down in the Naked Fashion coats. Normally I'm a size EU38 across the board, like in pants and tops, but I did size down with the coats and got a 36. But I just think the color is fabulous and love this thing. I just, yeah, I think it's an amazing layering piece and really, really beautifully cut. Like it just sits so nicely. So this is, this is she fam. Okay, so next up I wanted to show you guys this actually lovely, beautiful, unexpected box that I got in from H&M. I wanna get the, I wanna get the name right. This is the Innovation Circular Design Story. It launches in Canada. I believe it's already launched in some places, but in Canada it launches online December 16th and all of the items are made from sustainable materials and they made quite a, a fabulous collection. There was actually a men's coat that I was really eyeing up. So we'll see if I'm able to snag it on the 16th. So they sent um, a, a set actually from the new collection, which is so cute. I think it's great that they're doing this and really continuing the conversation on sustainability. And this was a really fun little holiday set. It's like a pajama set, but it's not. It's like meant to be clothing worn outside. So I haven't actually tried it on yet, but it's this beautiful robed top and then a matching pair of pants, which is so cute, looks so comfy. I'm gonna try this on in a second. But when they sent it, they also sent this really beautiful box <laughs> with a ton of like H&M home 
holiday things. I thought that was so sweet and so unexpected. That was the most lovely little holiday inspired goodie box from H&M. So cute, H&M, thank you. I'm going to try on this little set and see how it fits. So here is the lovely little set. Honestly, it's so, so cute. I feel like this is a perfect, well, I don't know. You know, would you wear pink on Christmas Eve if you celebrate Christmas? That might be very fun, but this is like such a cozy outfit to wear. I know that the whole pajama look thing is like very in right now. I do think this is very fun. I don't know if I'd be brave enough to wear it like as a fit. I think I would wear the top and the pants like separately, but I don't know, this is really fun. This is really fun. If you wanted to wear this with some heels, that could be very cute, but the, the drape of the top is absolutely divine. Little swirly design here, very, very cute. What do you guys think? H&M, thank you so much. So my final purchases for this video were a few naughty purchases that I made on Matches Fashion during their Black Friday sale. It was like a tier system, like the Sephora sale, where depending on what tier you are, you get a certain amount off. And I got 40% off on Matches Fashion, so, and only on particular things. They like give you a, a list of things that are available to shop at that discount. And I was like, 40, 40, 40%, oh my God, I can't, I can't say no. <laughs> so I need your guys' help. I need your guys' help on a few of these. Dan said absolutely no to my blazers, but I need your help. Let me know what you think I should keep from my little matches fashion finds. This sweater is the first thing, and this, you know what, I don't even need help with this one, okay? This is an absolute yes for me. It is so unique and beautiful. It's a little bit see-through right now, sorry. Free the nipple. <laughs> I just think it's so unique, so unique. It's a beautiful, beautiful material, and I just think it's really fun. Honestly, I'd wear it with something like this, just with the Abercrombie dad jeans and some boots. And I think it's super, super cool and unique. Okay, so this is the next find from Matches Fashion. It's this corduroy blazer. Corduroy! Oh my God. I think it's so fun. Dan was like, absolutely not. You do not need any more blazers and fair enough. But I thought that the, the fit of this was so nice and snug. And I thought the corduroy was just such a unique, unique detail. And it's so soft. Oh, I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. What do you guys think? Do I need to keep? Do I need to return? Let me know your thoughts. Okay, the final piece. It's very wrinkled from being folded in the box, but this is a frame white linen blazer. I think uh, right now, like this is the first time I put it on automatically. I'm like, yes, this is a keeper. I, I think the fit is so nice. It's perfectly oversized. The material is so luxe, so beautiful. And this linen blazer, I have like this creamy linen blazer that I bought years ago from Frankie Shop and I wear it every single summer. And even when it's not summer, I always pull that out. And I have a cream one, I have a black one. And I was like, I just, I really want a white blazer. I feel like that would complete my blazer collection. So I know the corduroy is a little bit a little bit left field, a little bit more unique, but I think a white one would be like very completing of my blazer collection. Alrighty friends, I'm gonna love you and leave you there. Those are all of the pieces that I have picked up. Those are new in, in the clothing area, and I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Please help me decide what pieces I'm keeping and what pieces that I am returning. I feel like there were a few, there were some amazing finds here, a few little sneaky deals from Black Friday and as well as my new permanent favorite pairs of denim that I have ever put onto my ball day. <laughs> I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on my picks and my finds, everything that I am able to, I will link in the description box down below for your viewing and or shopping pleasure. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for chilling with me in this casual little old school haul. I hope you're all having a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all tomorrow for a new Landmas video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!